it can outfight an F-16, outrun a MiG-29 and operate from a road in under 10 minutes. But here's the real shocker. This fighter jet has a fraction of its competitors, yet somehow still dominates the battlefield. So, how did Sweden, a country with a fraction of the budget of superpowers, create one of the most advanced multi-role fighters in the world? More importantly, why are air forces now looking at this jet as the perfect war machine for the modern battlefield? It's not just about speed or firepower. The Gripen might just be the most strategic fighter jet ever built. Welcome back to the war. When you think of world-class fighter jets, names like the F-22 Raptor, the Su-57 Felon and the Rafale come to mind. But what if I told you that a Swedish aircraft, that's right Swedish, is one of the best pound for pound fighters ever built? That wasn't supposed to happen. During the Cold War Sweden found itself in a dangerous position. It wasn't part of NATO. It wasn't part of the Warsaw Pact. It was stuck in the middle of a brewing superpower conflict. And if war broke out, it wouldn't have the luxury of massive air bases or a limitless budget. That's why Sweden did something no other country dared. It built an air force designed to survive an invasion. Enter the Gripen. It's fast, it's deadly, and it can take off from a road, refuel and rearm in under 10 minutes. But here's the real game changer. This jet was designed to be cheap. Cheap, I know what you're thinking. A cutting edge fighter jet, that should be impossible. But well, here's where the Gripen plays 5D chess with modern military strategy. And one other thing, have you ever heard of shoot and school? Stick around to find out how the Gripen has mastered this technique. Imagine you're an enemy pilot flying an F-35 Lightning. You have the latest stealth tech and a powerful radar. Missiles that can take down targets from miles away. This sounds like an easy fight, right? not against the Gripen. This Swedish jet was designed with one goal, to outthink the enemy. The Gripen's electronic warfare system is so advanced that it can blind enemy radars, jam incoming missiles, and even make enemy pilots think they're seeing multiple targets instead of just one. It's basically an invisible fighter jet without needing stealth coating. And here's where things get scary. While an F-35 or Eurofighter needs a fully fledged airbase, the Gripen can operate from a dirt road. Picture this, a squadron of Gripens landing on a road, refuel, rearm and take off again, all in under 10 minutes. Now compare that to an F-35, which needs a pristine runway in constant maintenance. If war broke out, which jet do you think actually survives? But wait, what about the real dogfight potential of the Gripen? Here is a challenge for you. Pick one fighter jet for a life or death dogfight. You can take the legendary F-16 or the Swedish underdog the Gripen. Which one do you choose? Most people would go with the F-16. It's battle proven, fast, and it's taken down enemy aircraft. But what if I told you that in simulated battles, the Gripen has outmaneuvered F-16s? Its Delta Canard design makes it one of the most agile fighters in the world. It can turn sharper, 
climb faster and sustain high G manoeuvres without losing control. In a close range dogfight, the Gripen's ability to point its nose at the enemy first is lethal. And then, there's the beyond visual range fight. The Gripen's radar and electronic warfare systems mean that it can detect and fire first, a massive advantage in modern air combat. And what about the shoot and scoop tactic we mentioned earlier? The Gripen can fire its air-to-air missiles then immediately turn 180 degrees and outrun enemy retaliation. Most fighter jets rely on afterburners to escape after launching missiles, but the Gripen's superior aerodynamics and electronic warfare systems allow it to evade enemy detection and counter-attacks without needing afterburners, saving fuel and extending its combat endurance. This makes it one of the few jets in the world that can fire flee and fight again, without ever getting caught. But let's take it a step further. What happens when the Gripen goes head to head with 5th generation fighters like the Su-57 or even the F-35? The world is obsessed with stealth. The F-22, the F-35 and Su-57 are built around the idea that if you can't be seen, you can't be shot down. But Sweden took a different approach. Instead of making the Gripen invisible, they made it smarter. Its advanced electronic warfare suite allows it to detect stealth aircraft by tracking their radar emissions and jamming their sensors. This means that while an F-35 pilot thinks they're sneaking up on a Gripen, the Swedish jet already knows they're coming. And here's the thing, the Gripen is networked. Each jet is constantly sharing data with others, creating a real-time battlefield picture. If one Gripen detects a stealth fighter, every Gripen in the area knows about it. This completely negates the F-35's main advantage, stealth. At a fraction of the cost of an F-35, could the Gripen actually be the smarter investment for modern air forces? But before you answer that, let's talk about something that's been long overdue, our new membership program and exclusive merch. If you're enjoying this breakdown of the world's deadliest war machines, you'll love our exclusive content. Hit the link below Join the war room and grab your gear before it's gone. Now back to the Gripen and its weaknesses. For all its advantages, the Gripen has one major problem. It lacks numbers. Unlike the F-16, which has over 4,000 units in service worldwide, the Gripen fleet is relatively small. This means that while it's an amazing jet, it's not mass produced in the same way as its American or Russian counterparts. And here is where things get complicated. Many countries want the Gripen, but the politics of military contracts often favour bigger defence companies like Lockheed Martin and Boeing. In other words, the Gripen should be more popular, but international deals and lobbying often push countries towards more expensive alternatives. So will we see more Gripens in the future? Well, here's another twist. The Gripen Next Generation is already in development, featuring even more advanced sensors, better range and enhanced combat abilities. If this jet delivers on its promises, it might just become the perfect fighter for modern warfare. And that brings us to one final question. The Gripen was built for survival. It was designed to fight smarter, not harder. And as war evolves with drones, electronic warfare and AI driven battles, the Gripen's philosophy might just be the future of aerial combat. Instead of building billion dollar jets 
that need a pristine runway. What if all fighter jets could operate from highways instead of relying on stealth? What if every fighter jet used electronic warfare to blind the enemy? Sweden may be a small country, but with the gripping, they may have just given the world blueprint for the next generation of air power. Now if you enjoyed this breakdown, you'll love our deep dive on the F-16. The legendary fighter jet that's still dominating the skies. Click here to watch now. Hi soldiers, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and leave your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to check back in again soon. That's an order.